We hope you're looking forward Oof. to this game. Nervous. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. One more thing. One more thing. This next trailer will be our last. Oh my gosh! Please. Take oh care. please, 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 please! Oh please! Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's the moment! Oh, it looks so good already! Oh, that's so beautiful! Oh, dude. Oh, it's been so long! Oh, wow! Is that it for the trailer? Better drop in the title? The Legend of Zelda? Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my gosh. That's deep. Whoa. No breath of no wild. Tears of the Kingdom. May 12th. All right. All right. Wow. Boy, they're really keeping things small in terms of what they're showing, you know? Wow. I think Tears of the Kingdom is because it gives something away and that something away is you know we lost our princess we're mourning over the death of princess zelda something like that very secretive yeah tears of the kingdom that title gives something away what would make the kingdom cry what would make the kingdom you know show tears the death of the princess you know, everybody thought in the beginning of that trailer when they first showed it off, oh my gosh, Princess Zelda's falling, and then Link is jumping in to save her, or maybe you get to play as Zelda because she falls into a different area or something like that, and maybe, oh, maybe she's dead. Oh, come on, really? No, well, what if she did? What if they just showed it off right away? True, it could not be Princess Zelda dying, Hyrule's destruction, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, this massive, horrific event uh, happening in Hyrule that, you know, shatters the whole kingdom, destroys the castle, blows up, kills everyone. Who would be having tears, though, for that if everyone was dead? Uh, unless if it's just like a significant portion of it, it was that horrible. Wow, but Tears of the Kingdom. So we got a little bit of gameplay footage right there. Can't rewind yet. Oh no, we can. All right, let's see. Let's watch it again. That looks cool. Yeah, the game looks looks massive and I'm sure that you know this is just not even the tip of the iceberg this is a snowflake on the iceberg tears of the kingdom sweet I like the logo it's cool circular I'm digging the green let's see this whole flying thing and stuff it's pretty dope a glider you know, I think we're going to get some awesome traversal. As we looked through the patents, we saw, you know, some free-falling segments, arrow trajectory, possibly traveling upwards and downwards while shooting arrows before you, behind you, above, down, going in these different angles, going, be going backwards and shooting forwards. Like, who knows how immersive that could be. 
As for why having patents on that, it could be as great of an implementation as Z-targeting was back in 1998 with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and how that became an industry standard. And now with, you know, 3D space and air traversal, you know, having a quick lock-on behind your back system so that you can have free flow combat with projectiles, with dynamic camera responses, you know, maybe that is something significant enough that like, okay, this is why they put the patent in it. Can't wait for the breakdown videos. Yeah, same here. You know, we could comb through the beginning segment. That's kind of like a little reminiscent of uh, the Wind Waker art and uh, Breath of the Wild art. And look at that. Okay, Princess Zelda looks like a body. You know, are they are they praying? What, what are they doing they exactly? Hmm. There will be some breakdown stuff in here for sure. Like, who is this? Is this a Zonai? Uh, you know, invasion, bad guys. You got moblins, bokoblins coming in. Some of them have fallen on the battlefield. I don't think this represents Ganondorf or Ganon. But that does look like a dead Princess Zelda. But who are these two? We don't see the second one. Hmm. We'll look at this one more time because I, I want to cement that release date in my head. I think it was May 12th. Yeah, they're not releasing this game till it's done. They said spring, everyone thought March 3rd, and I thought, well, March does spring doesn't even begin until like March 21st, so March 24th would be the first Friday. So that was my thought, but I also figured you know, spring, folks, it goes until, like, June 20th. So, yeah, May 12th. So don't be surprised if it's, you know, a May title, uh, an April title, an early June. I didn't think early June. I thought if it wasn't March 24th, it was probably going to be April, but wouldn't be surprised to me. I was on Team March 24th, though. That was, like, my pick. That was also my hope. But, I don't know. I'm not disappointed in May. Hey, we have the name. We have the release date. We have new footage to look over and over. Oh, look at that detail. I don't think I noticed that the first time. Not only is it the Master Sword and, you know, what we saw like in Breath of the Wild was you know, a little bit of like corrosion and stuff like that. And then in the trailer for Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom, we saw like some of it was shattered. It was, you know, kind of uh, broken down two-thirds of it was missing or something like that. Now we've got, you know, this, this tech. Something more to it. And it's matching this, and it looks, you know, dragon-esque. Wonder if they might bring back the sages for the game. Kind of looks like the Twilight people, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom. We could finally not improperly say Breath of the Wild 2 and we could finally say yeah I'm looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom man oh yeah cool that was fun all right thanks for watching with me this was a cool morning and you know as it got close to the end I'm not gonna lie I was getting a little nervous like are we going to get you know Tears of the Kingdom or not and we certainly didn't get, you know, Metroid Prime or these Zelda remakes or anything like that. But there was a tiny little bit of ooh, doubt, concern. Would we get Breath of the Wild's sequel? And we did. They saved it right to the end. And that was beautiful. And that ended up being a really awesome Nintendo Direct. I think if they didn't end on Zelda, it would have been disappointing not having it. But overall, the Nintendo Direct wouldn't have been disappointing. But that would have been a disappointment. Uh, it would still have been great. Because it started off strong. It had surprises along the way. First party, third party. You know, DLC. Cool stuff. But ending on T 
Tears of the Kingdom, after beginning with New Game, you've got Fire Emblem, you've got GoldenEye, you've got, you know, like I said, this, this flow throughout, which really made it pretty sweet. Pikmin 4. Ah, Pikmin 4. Ha, ah, Pikmin 4, dude. Woo. Yeah. Next news on Tears of the Kingdom. Whew. They're keeping this one so secretive. It could have a new trailer. Like, this wasn't even like a long trailer. Gosh, it really wasn't. But the Game Awards could have a spot. A lot of people will, will be watching that day. That's three months away. That's not a long wait. We've had to wait much longer in between trailers in the past. Or they could go as far as, geez, not showing anything until February at the next Nintendo Direct. Although that's only three months. So December would be five until the game comes out. February would be three until the game comes out. Uh, it could be either or neither, we'll see, but I think one of those two is pretty likely, you know, uh, that's a decent percent chance, and you only have so many months left, but okay, now we know the game is eight months away, a day shy, actually, today's the 13th, today is Super Mario Brothers 37th anniversary, pretty cool, happy birthday Mario, Super Mario Brothers, which also means that uh, my swimming pool is uh, two years old of having uh, Super Mario and uh, the Superstar in it. So that's cool. Because I did that for the 35th anniversary two years ago, that project. But yeah, we're just under eight months away. That, that's not bad, you know. From late March, hoping, wishful thinking, to mid-May... It's not even a delay. They only ever delayed the game once. People saying, oh, this has been delayed multiple times. That's not the case. It was simply stated 2022 to spring 2023. That's it. That was the only delay. So if you thought fall of 2022, you were only anticipating, oh, okay, probably a delay from like November to March, four months. Oh, man. But in reality, it could have been December to May. So five-month delay, one time, that's it. Wow, this looks like something special. That's cool. Happy birthday to your dad. That's good news, too. See, you, you could share some cool news like this on that day. Well, thank you for joining me yet again. It was fun talking. And, whew, that was, that was a good morning. That was a good morning. And later today, we have one other event to look forward to. So oh, let's see if you could top Tears of the Kingdom. All right, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. I appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.